Okay, so um, this is the living room now. We have uh, sheetrocked the whole thing. At first, we were thinking that maybe we were going to leave it block walls and stuff, but we're very happy with the way it has turned out. We have where all the windows are, it's an inset, and that just allows a little bit more depth to the windows and everything, and gives us a chance to get some different colors and everything. So it's really nice, but the big deal here is this stove, whenever, um, whenever we were getting a stove, I was like, oh, hardcore, we don't need a big stove, we don't need a big stove, a little, you know, a medium sized stove will be just fine. Whenever we first got it, this is a Vermont Castings, uh, was it an Encore? Uh, hmm, good question. They'll say it on the side of it. Yeah, it's an Encore. Encore, which is a medium size, and it's also, uh, it, it, it has been, um, it's got an enamel co coating, and so the enamel coating uh, minimalizes the amount of heat that you get from it as well. Uh, but anyways, the point is, is uh, we put this in, and then whenever it started to get a little bit colder, that's Greg. We're showing Greg. <laughs> Here's Greg. Our cats love getting up in the rafters. So, hey, Greg. Well, Anyways. Greg, why are you so loud? <laughs> oh. He's so, loud. Um, but I was really second guessing myself because it was so cold inside this big living space. Now, this living space, remember, is 1,200 square feet. That's bigger than most two bedroom houses. And this is just our living room. So we were having a real issue with getting it warm enough. And it's because the ceiling is concrete and we didn't, uh, uh, all of our heat that we created was going right and being absorbed into that big concrete ceiling. Well, finally, you know, and as hard as we tried, we really couldn't get it above 60 degrees whenever it was cold. And 60 degrees isn't, isn't too bad, but whenever you consider that you're just laying in a lazy boy watching TV, that's cold. So finally, we had uh, my brother Larry Dale, he came and he helped me put these strips on the ceiling, right? Now these right here, they have um, a two by four foot, right? And the, the two by four foot is only about eight inches long and it goes up and then these big two by four strips attach to the feet. The feet are every four feet and these are every four feet, right? Once that was done, then I got uh, Martin back, or Russell Martin from um, Green South, I think it is, it's Green South Insulation mm -hmm. uh, for out of Noonan, Georgia. Anyways, and we put up closed cell insulation. Now closed cell does a better job of offering uh, insulation uh, R values than open cell. And we only had about three inches here to work with versus on the other side where we had about six or seven inches. Uh, and so the other side got open cell, this got closed cell. And as soon as we put this up, oh my gosh, the difference that it yeah. made. Now we don't really have to try very hard mm -hmm. and it stays about 68 or 70 degrees, even on the coldest of days. Yeah. So. Uh, as it is, uh, you know, I, I'm now, I have a bit of redemption with, with, with telling my wife, we don't need the big stove, we don't need the big stove, because as it is, we have the big stove, which is our primary heat, or our medium stove, stove yeah. which is our primary heat source, right, and we actually put up one of these wall heaters right here, show them the wall heater. I'm getting there. Uh, I need to rotate slowly. So this area here, they were running a sale. Uh, it's not, it does not have the ceramic uh, pieces behind it. And I, I wish I had gotten that. However, Amazon were having them on sale and this thing was only like $152 or something. So I went ahead and I got this. Uh, and this kicks on and off as needed, you know. And, but the primary heat source is that little stove and we're heating all 3,500 square feet of this. 3,500 square feet. This is a big place. 
and it's all being done by that wood stove and this little heater. Uh, we do have another, another heater that's like this. It's a propane heater, but it's, it's movable. It's a floor stand unit in case, uh, you know, like my son comes and visits for a couple of weeks and stuff. We have one in his room just in case it gets a little too chilly for him. But honestly, all the way back down that hallway, the hallway from the heat is over 55 feet away. I'll show you the hallway. Well, they've seen the hallway, but yeah. You started in the hallway? Yeah, I started. This whole video is nothing but the hallway. Oh, gotcha. But anyways, all the way down there, all the way at the very end, <laughs> it's still a nice 68 or 70 degrees. So let's go ahead and uh, show them the uh, washroom now. Oh, okay. Um, the washroom, of course, like most of this place, is unfinished. But I think you guys are interested in this, and I, I hope you are. Uh, but the washroom, we now can wash and dry clothes, and you can hear we have a, a load that's being dried. Yeah. So we're on an actual big tank of propane now. We got a 500 gallon, I call it a pig, a propane pig. But um, I, you might be able to show them. It's right out there out the window, babe. Mm hmm. There it is. You know? So we got our propane tank. And we're running uh, off of that. We've got a propane dryer and a regular washer. So, and all of our heat, aside from the wood burner, is going to be propane. So it's all really coming along. Let's show them Blake's room. I love Blake's room's paint work that we did. Well, we've been working today, and now we've got a vacuum in here. And everything. <laughs> but. Uh, and he never makes his bed. And he never makes his bed. But show him the stripey stripe. See, the stripey stripe kind of angles like, like so. I don't know if you can even tell. But it looks cool. And this right here, this is that uh, other propane here. It's not even hard, uh, hard wired in. We actually are using a, uh, a, a propane tank with it to, to heat from but honestly it really is not needed at all I just want to put it in here just in case it gets cold you know uh, it, it it's really nice the key uh, if you guys if I haven't told you or anything I used to teach heating and air conditioning of course I obviously I used to do heating and air conditioning but then I, I made it to a level where I was teaching heating and air conditioning and um, it was my job to create an advanced uh, curriculum uh, for people that had been doing it for years. And it, this consi consisted of um, heat load calculations and the best way to insulate, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. And, um, and so it was with that knowledge uh, that I went into this place. I knew that I wanted spray foam throughout and I knew that I wanted good windows. So as far as I know, we have the best windows that you can buy. They're, um, they're double, uh, uh, double pane, argon gas field. And th these are actually from Window World. If they, window you know, World. Whatever, the, what I like about the Window them. World is, is they are see. local here for us and we have a, um, a lifetime warranty if anything breaks we could fix them. But in the grand scheme of things, this place is still not sealed up. Mm -mm. Like around the windows, uh, I don't know if you can see this, babe. Can you see light coming through right here? Mm. Back up. Back up. Oh, right there, yep, see? Yep, yep, there it is. See? Yeah. Pretty much all of our windows are still like that. Except we, for the living room. Except for the living room. We haven't properly sealed any of this and we are still able to heat it with minimal resources and we're able to cool it as hot as it gets here in the summer I mean we can we can cool it this thing is being cooled by an air conditioning unit that's really meant for a two-bedroom apartment type of thing I mean just a really small like we're talking about 900 square feet it's uh, it's two tons it's a two-ton 
air conditioning unit and it's all the way at the other end of the house and it cools this whole place without much of an issue it runs a little bit more than it should which is why I'm going to install another one eventually down on this end but it is really coming along uh, our septic and everything we have a nice brand new septic system and you can see on the floor where uh, they had to cut out the floor and then re-concrete in. I helped them with the re-concrete, but you know, mostly those guys did all the work. And, uh, but we have a good septic system. It's, uh, I want to say it's 1,500 gallons, so it's good for a five bedroom. Um, I don't know about the gallons. I'm not 100% sure on that. I think it's 1,500 gallons, but I do know that it's good for a five bedroom. And we're only uh, utilizing this as a three bedroom. So it's a little bit of overkill, uh, but I like, I like getting more than I need. So it's all coming along. And uh, I hope you like the update, and I hope you like the whitewashing of the walls. And maybe in four or five more months, I'll make another video. <laughs>